It is my duty to lead everyone to victory. Led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. Why have you decided to follow me, Zhang Liao? As far as I can tell, you are the most powerful warrior this land has ever seen, Master Lu Bu. As a warrior myself, my only desire in life is to see one who has scaled the summit of true might in battle. I see. Do as you please. What are you planning to do next? You are a wanted man after slaying Master Dong Zhuo. I imagine people will be coming from the capital to hunt you down. If they want to send men after me, then let them. I will simply cut them down. All I desire is a place to fight the way I have always wanted to. At the moment, Yuan Shao and Yuan Chu are at war. Siding with one or the other ought to allow us to have some fun. Yuan Chu's camp is closer. We will start there. Very well. That reminds me, Lady Ling Chi said she wished to accompany us to the battle. Ling Chi? She knows nothing of war yet. Tell her to stay home and behave. But I find that she can be quite determined when she sets her mind to something. I see. In that case, Zhang Liao, do not take your eyes off of Ling Chi during the battle. Yes, my lord. Father, I wish to fight with you from now on. Lu Linchi. She was the daughter of the fearsome warrior, Lu Bu. While her father was out wreaking havoc in Luoyang and Shang'ang, she remained behind in the palace. Lu Bu would not let her anywhere near the battlefield. When Lubu was forced to wander the land without a place to call home, she eagerly sought to become an officer in his army. I do not need your help. You will simply slow me down. Fall back. That is impossible. I have no place to which I can fall back. In which case, I would prefer to stand on the battlefield as the daughter of the land's mightiest warrior and help you to victory, father. I will not slow you down. Please, I ask you to allow me to accompany you. 
You know nothing of war. One mistake and you will be dead. Stay close to my side. If you get in the way, I will order you to retreat. Those are my conditions. Thank you, my lord. I promise to fight in a way that does not bring you shame. The look boo. What do you want? I hear you are engaged in a conflict with Yuan Shao. Lend me some troops right now, and I will take care of him for you. What on earth are you talking about? If you wish to go up against Yuan Chao, you will need to be immaculately prepared. You don't seriously think that I would leave my valuable troops in the hands of one such as you, do you? If you really want to fight against Yuan Chao so badly, then you can become my vassal and do as I say. What's that? Why would I ever sink so low as to take orders from you? I will fight the way that I want to and prove to the land that I am the mightiest warrior it has ever known. That is all. Then you're nothing but a savage beast. If you insist on spouting such a nanity, then you can leave right now. Huh. This was a waste of my time. If that's how you feel, I will go to Yuan Shao. If we ever meet on the field of battle, I will show you no mercy. Lord Yuan Chao's bandits, led by Zhang Yan, are encroaching upon the surrounding area. It appears they have received aid from Yuan Shu and boast considerable numbers. That conniving manipulator. He does not want to dirty his own hands, so he gets the Pai Shan bandits to attack us instead. If repelling the bandits takes too long, we may find ourselves under siege from Yuan Shu's forces from the other side. Lu Bu, what are you doing here? This is the main camp of the noble Yuan clan. It is no place for animals such as yourself. Yuan Shu is a menace to your happiness. I will remove him from the picture. Give me some troops at once. <sighs> Yuan Shu can wait. Zhang Yan is who I need to take care of right now. Come to think of it, Lu Bu, you're always keen for a fight, aren't you? Then I'll allow you the privilege of joining my army and slaying Zhang Yan. What do you think? There is no greater honor than to join the army of the noblest man in the land. Bandits? It sounds beneath me, but I suppose I could throw you a bone. Show me where the battlefield is. I'll destroy every last one of those bandits. I do not feel you are exhibiting the appropriate respect, but I'm willing to overlook it. Go, Lubu. Eliminate the Paishan bandits from this area. The Paishan are no match for us. Show them the way a nobleman's army fights! Uh. 
is not in my nature to take orders from worthless peons. I will wreak havoc and show the world my might. Staying holed up in the main camp bores me. I'm heading for the front lines. Lord Sunjian. You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Hey, get on in here. Come again! Shall break through the enemy's gates! Send in the battering rams! <laughs>
That is Master Ji Ling, who serves beneath Yuan Shu. See. This means that the Paishan have mastered Yuan Shu's backing. Such great strength! I'm pulling back for now. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. Everyone, raise a cry of victory! I am truly impressed by your skill. You've done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. We've broken through the gates and dealt with the enemy army. Now we simply need to make our way to the Paishan's main base. Intruders are getting closer to the camp. Our forces are in danger. What's that? It's not just the Paishan. I don't care who it is. Get rid of them! Monster Lubu killed my grandfather. Where is he? It'll go a lot easier if you just tell me the truth. Play of might. daughter. I didn't expect to see you on the battlefield. You always used to hide away on your own when you were in Luo Young. Times change. Now I am an officer in Lu Bu's army. Is that right? I believe that makes you my enemy then. I will have vengeance for my grandfather. We may be old acquaintances, 
but I will give you no mercy, and I ask for none. Prepare yourself. Don't think you're safe yet, Lubu. I have a particularly cruel and unusual punishment set aside just for you. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. Everyone, raise a cry of victory! Truly impressive! I won't have any enemies left to defeat. Oh my, you fight with such elegance. I admire your style. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. You rabble! This is our territory! Time to prove that to you and Shao! to its defense. Yeah. <laughs> 
done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. single enemy through. Fine work, Lubu. The bandits will now disband. They have tasted what it means to stand against a nobleman. Defeating them was no great achievement. Our true target is Yuan Shu. It is time to put him to the sword. Send in your troops and I will pulverize him. What foolishness is this that you speak? Just because you beat a few bandits, what gives you the right to tell me what to do? Our battle against Yuan Shu will be fought with honor and no deception. In order to do so, we will need time to prepare. We will return home for now. That is an order. Huh. Why are you wasting your time with unnecessary preparations? If you have me, you need nothing else. You just sit there and wait for me to report victory. Fall back, Lubu! Know your place. You are speaking to a nobleman! If you continue to talk at a turn in this manner, I will have no choice but to remove you from my forces. Why must I be surrounded by spineless cowards on all sides? I have no further use for you. Consider this my resignation. Father, what do you plan to do next? I will find a battle to fight. If you and Shu and you and Shao are too cowardly, then I suppose my next port of call will be Cao Cao. He had the guts to try and assassinate Dong Zhuo. I hope he will not disappoint me.
Who are you? My name is Chen Gong. I am Cao Cao's strategist. But he has failed me. By failing to kill Dong Zhuo, I am afraid I have lost what hope I had in him. The kind of man whom I wish to serve is one who has the courage and the fortitude to go through with a plan. The kind of man who could kill Dong Zhuo. I wonder if you would consent to employ me as your strategist, Master Lu Bu. We are currently wandering warriors, with no home or troops to call our own. At present, I'm not sure we can offer the kind of opportunity you are looking for. Have no fear on that score. Cao Cao is currently away attacking Shu Province, meaning Yang Province is ripe for the picking. Now is your chance, I believe, to take Yang Province and make it your own, Master Lu Bu. Are you suggesting that we seize Yan Province while Cao Cao is away? Indeed. What Master Lu Bu needs most is some territory from which he can wage war. If he had that, he could start any battle he wanted. Any battle at all. And what is it that you want? How does it benefit you to have me take Cao Cao's land? I want my name to be known across the land. If I can marry my intellect with your strength, my lord, that dream will surely come true. I wish to be known as the genius strategist serving the mighty warrior who rules over the land with an iron fist. That is how I should be. Hmm. Ruling over the land? If I crush all opposition to me, then I will rule. The land will be mine, and I will have proven that I am the mightiest of all time. Exactly! Precisely, my lord! Come, Master Lubu. Our path begins in Yan Province. Our path to the summit, our path to total dominion! Very well. I will follow your suggestion. Come! We will seize Yan Province from Cao Cao and create a land where no one will stand in my way. I have a certain friendship with Master Zhang Miao, who has been put in charge of the defenses here. Thanks to his efforts, the officers remaining here in Yang Province have all agreed to defect to our side. This has allowed us to seize Puyang without any unnecessary pain. I have also heard that Cao Cao's main unit has caught wind of this news and has cut short its battle in Shu Province to hurry back here. Hmm. Then I will simply have to smash them into oblivion. The key fortresses of Yang Province are Puyang and Dingtao further to the south. If we can seize these two locations, then victory will be ours, I believe. In other words, we need to attack Dingtao while defending Puyang at the same time. However, Cao Cao's forces outnumber us greatly. I'm not sure what chance we stand against them. Stop your worrying, Zhang Liao. I am on your side. Defeat is unthinkable. Come, we will pummel Cao Cao and send him scurrying from this land. Hmm. Cao Cao has panicked and come running back to Ding Tao. We will expel him from Yan Province for good. Oh, something's going on down at the port. I'm going to see what it is. Yeah! <laughs>
land belongs to us. You're gonna regret ever setting foot on it. How dare you engage in such treachery? I'll put a stop to you myself. Attacking while I am away is just the type of thoughtless behavior I'd expect from an animal like you, Lubu. You will never have Yan Province. <laughs> to prove what my father has taught me. Before me, I am a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. Face me? You sure know how to fight! I continue to prove what my father has taught me! You dare stand before me! You shall pay for your audacity! father has taught me. I shall retreat now, so that I may return. Truly pathetic, Zhao Zhao. Yan province belongs to me now. Magnificent! You were truly magnificent, Master Lubu. Now that we have claimed Ding Tao, Young province belongs firmly to us. Ha! This was nothing more than a warm-up. Where do we go next, Chen Gong? What land will we invade? Uh, I bring news! Pu Young has fallen to Cao Cao's forces. As soon as our main unit headed towards Ding Tao, the enemy swooped in and seized it. No! Poo Young? Poo Young has been lost? Get a hold of yourself. If it has been taken, we will simply take it back. 
Come, Chen Gong! Wait! Please! Wait just a minute! If we leave Ding Tao now, the enemy will seize it instead! The whole battle will degenerate into a game of cat and mouse, and we will lose troops all the while. We are outnumbered, meaning that this is a recipe for defeat. I believe... Yes, I believe we must leave Yang Province for now. Ridiculous! I won! Why should I give that up just because Puyang has been lost? I understand your anger. However, we have just finished fighting a difficult battle. Our men are tired and have suffered injuries. Our path to conquest has only just begun. There are other territories besides Yan Province. I promise you, my lord. I promise you that I will find a way for you to seize a new land. Please, for now, we must retreat. Ugh! Cao Cao, you will pay dearly for what you have done here today. I swear one day I will destroy you and reclaim Yan Province. Chen Gong, prepare the next battle for me. My lord, leave it to me. The ruler of Shu province is Liu Bei, who was granted the territory by the previous ruler, Tao Qiang, due to the respect he had for his character. Famed for his virtue, he is sure to acquiesce to our request for sanctuary. While this may work in the short term, what do you have planned after that? Liu Bei is currently under attack from Yuan Shu. Are we to wage war against you and Shu as well? Huh. The idea of battle against that coward does nothing for me. I won't do it. Naturally, I have no intention whatsoever of fighting against you and Shu. No. Our true enemy will be. Welcome, everyone. I know you have come a long way to be here. I hear tell that the battle in Yan province was most savage. Please, take some time to rest your weary bodies here in Shu province. Master Liu Bei, we are most grateful. Most grateful indeed for your generosity. Once we have recovered, we will repay your kindness by joining forces with you to slay Cao Cao. We will discuss that matter at a later date. Right now, we are about to face Yuan Shu in battle. I will leave my sworn brother, Zhang Fei, here with you. If you need anything, please ask him. Chen Gong, are you really going to go through with this? But of course, our real enemy is not Yuan Shu, but Liu Bei. It's always been Liu Bei. He has managed to hold off an attack from Cao Cao with just a few men. His strength and that of his sworn brothers is not to be underestimated. I am sure that battle against him will be enough to satisfy even you, Master Lubu. Hmm. So your plan is the same as it was in Yan Province. 
Take Shu Province while Liu Bei is away, and use this land as a foothold in our quest for dominion over the land. Is that it? That is it. That is it in a nutshell. With my intellect and your strength, Master Liu Bu, taking Shu Province ought to be no problem at all. If we were to be accused of thievery, we would scarcely argue. But if this is what you want, Father, then I will fight against anyone you choose. Be ready for battle at any moment. To create a land of my own, and for the first step on my path to total rule, we will take Shu Province. Zhang Fei has been left in charge here, and seems awfully bored. So I have decided to send him a little gift, his favorite, wine. I would imagine that right about now, he is well and truly drunk. Hmm. Why do you insist on using such trickery? Do you wish me to fight against a pathetic drunkard? My lord, you must have a little patience. The true battle lies further ahead. Once we have Shu Province in our grasp, you may fight against anyone you choose. Cao Cao, Liu Bei, the choice will be yours. If we just wander without a home, constantly relying on the hospitality of others, the men will lose morale. Master Lu Bu, I believe our first course of action should be to secure a foothold of our own. I will fight with all I have to ensure that Shu Province comes under your control, Father. Very well. Let's do this. We will pummel that drunkard, Zhang Fei, and claim Shu Province for ourselves. I will take Sha Pi while Liu Bei is gone. And make Shu Province my own territory. Central to our assault on Shopee Castle. We cannot allow them to be destroyed. How dare you treat me like this? Don't pay dearly for your behavior, John Liao. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. Everyone, raise a cry of victory! Incredible! I am truly impressed by your skill. You've done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. Forces! Everyone! 
everyone! Blue Boo is attacking! Fight back! Splendid display of might and prowess. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Losing this land will be impossible to explain to Master Liu Bei. Everyone, raise a cry of victory! Shoppy is manned by Zheng Fei, a man famous for his fondness for wine. Even now, I imagine he's fighting boredom with a drink or two. What we will do is send him more wine. If he's drunk, he'll be in no position to stop us taking the castle. You for your order. I'm afraid we don't carry that much wine, however. That's not nearly enough wine. Let's get some more. From Xiaopei. The wine is ready. Come on, let's get it to Xiaopi. Hey, get on in here.
Hey, get on in here. Things are proceeding very nicely, very nicely indeed. This ought to ensure that every last soldier in the castle is dead drunk. Excellent! The mission was a success. You've done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. Zheng Fei, his judgment clouded by wine, has flown into a rage against one of his subordinates and ordered him from the castle. The exiled man goes by the name of Xiao Bao. I believe we could stoke his discontent and turn him to our side. Want to talk to him? I saw him in Shopee. I saw it. An officer got chased right out of the castle.
Yes, I'm Sahoba. I've got something to complain about, too. We have a violent drunkard in our forces. I told him not to drink. Right? But as soon as I said that, he got all angry and chased me off. That's how I ended up here. Honestly, you know what? I'm thinking of quitting completely. You approached me, knowing who I am? I guess that a change might be a good idea. Right. I'll teach Zhang Fei a lesson. When you attack, I'll open the gate. The mission was a success. You've done well, Link. However, try not to overdo it. Preparations for the siege are nearly complete. It's almost time. It's time to lay siege to Shoppy Castle. Everyone, follow me! Come on! Take Shoppy! Attacking! Uh, I feel too sick to fight. It's that animal, Lu Bu. He's planning to repay my brother's kindness by betraying. Hey! I'm opening the gate as promised. Come on, come inside. to overdo it. and prowess. Ah! <laughs> 
Are you ready? Face me! Incredible! I am truly impressed by your skill. I continue to prove what my father has taught me. You've done well, Ling Chi. However, try not to overdo it. You dirty traitor! Lu Bu! Come back and face me like a man! What do you want, drunkard? Very well. I will erase you for good this time. Thinking of snatching Shapi while brother is away. Uh, uh, that makes me very angry. First of all, you betrayed brother who took you in when you needed help. And next, what's even worse? You think you can emerge victorious in a fight against the mighty Zheng Fei? You let drinking make you. You in this. Where did you call me? Uh, Lord Sun uh, We have to pull back! Don't mess with me! I can still fight you bastard! Damn you! Boo-boo! You shall remember this! And now, Shopee. Belongs to me. With this, Shu Province is ours, ours at last. Master Lubu, you finally have a land of your own. And we have somewhere we can call our home. Congratulations, Father. Utterly pathetic. How can I be satisfied when all I did was beat one old drunk? Chen Gong, prepare my next battle. We must not hurry things, my lord. That would never do. If we are to rule the entire land, then we must first make sure that our home territory will never be taken from us. It was not your lack of might that thwarted our attack on Yan province, but the lack of our military might as a whole. It is just as Master Chen Gong says. We should look to build up our military strength here before we proceed any further. Hmm. Do as you wish, but I will not wait long. We have claimed Chu province, but what's next? Who am I to fight next? Naturally, my lord, our next opponent will be Cao Cao. Cao Cao attacked Chu province once before in the name of avenging his father. But the fact of the matter was that that was just an excuse. He simply wanted this land for himself. Cao Cao will try and take this land from us sooner or later. I guarantee it. Cao Cao. I understand he has the Emperor under his control. He 
his is the fastest rising star in all the land. I am also concerned about the young Sun Tzu, who has taken over for his father, Sun Jian. He quickly overran Jiang Dong and is now being referred to as the Little Conqueror. I think he would be a good choice for you to test your might against. Hmm. We owe Cao Cao for what happened in Yan province. He will be crushed beyond all recognition. And as for Sun Tzu, calling himself the Little Conqueror, I will show him who's boss. With my intellect and the strength of so many mighty warriors, defeat is unthinkable. Come, come, let us ascend to the staircase to the ultimate dominion over this land. Impressive, impressive. You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. 